So they did it. They slashed $1.5 billion out of the $6 million annual NYPD budget for the new fiscal year in New York City over here. Big Red and his fucking uh, commie fucking comrades got it done. But also, although some of them, like, you know, the young AOC, said that's not defunding the police. Whatever. She's a fucking cunt. Plain English. Um, but let me tell you what's going to happen with that. Now, obviously, overtime is a thing. And I know all of you guys are like, well, fuck the cops in their overtime. You know, their overtime helped me fucking pay for my house. So I kind of liked it <laughs> when I was a part of the NYPD. But I didn't get overtime for fucking sleeping and sitting on my ass. I got overtimes being up for two or three days straight at the old 8-4 precinct Brooklyn Central booking when I came on in the 80s. Fucking sleeping, standing up after being there for 36 hours because there was nowhere to sit. All right, and and then there was fucking roaches and shit in there. It was it was a fucking shithole. So I can relate to some of you people where I locked them up was kind of similar. Um, uh, so with basically the overtime, a lot of it is when there's a big event like New Year's Eve. We'll use that for example. You see the fucking Times Square is flooded with cops, right? Uniform and plain clothes. I've done it in both. It's a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed it. It was pretty fucking cool. Right? Because we had a front row seat for the fucking ball. Right? When the bells went off, right? We used to say when I was a kid. So all of those cops, if you were a champ, if you were on full overtime, now that always didn't happen. If you were working that day, but obviously it was more than your 835, 827, 857, depending on what rank you were. You worked different between 8 and 9 hours, depending on your rank, contractually. Um, so those guys are getting overtime. So for them to slash that overtime, this is how they do it. They still need an X amount of bodies, which means how many cops and supervisors at these big events. So instead of paying overtime because the budget won't allow it, they're going to have to take a little more from each patrol precinct or detective squad or narcotics. Like I used to have to go back in uniform when I was a plain clothes guy. And they're going to say, you got to go work. Instead of working your sector car with your partner tonight, answering jobs and maybe saving lives and doing other stuff and saving cats out of trees, not where I worked, <laughs> you're going to the New Year's Eve detail. So you're only going to make maybe four hours if it's a 12-hour day, not a full RDO, regular day off, overtime day. So that means there's one less sector car in the precinct. Now let's say you're in a precinct that puts out four or five sector cars. So now it's down to, let's say it's five. So four, four sector cars are out there. One's on meal, one's out with a collar, one's on a fucking car wreck somewhere. Oops, now we got fucking shots fired somewhere. So now there's only two cars available to go after it. Now the patrol sergeant's gonna go and back him up if he has any balls. That's what I did as a patrol sergeant. I answered jobs. I didn't sit on my fucking ass and let my men work. I worked with them. They didn't work for me. They worked with me. Same thing with MSM. So you're gonna be having a, a slower response time to the in-progress jobs, which is robbery in progress, shots fired, burglary in progress, assault in progress, whatever. Somebody saying, hey, there's a guy getting his fucking dick kicked down his throat right on the corner of 4, 2, and 10. Hurry up! <laughs> so now you're going to have less guys available to go there because they're in Times Square. Well, that, that scenario was Times square -ish, but it was an example. 4, 2, and 10 could be in Brooklyn now. In Brooklyn, 4, 2, and 10. The Bronx. And, and, and it could be anywhere. So now you're going to have less guys going to these jobs, less guys answering. So you're going to call the cops because somebody fucking broke your car window. And you're going to go, what the fuck taking these cocksuckers so long? There's never a cop around when you need one. You know why? Because instead of coming and take a complaint report for your stupid car window, you dick. He's out in fucking, you know, somewhere else in Flushing Meadows or something doing the U.S. Open. When they used to send fucking guys that were, you made overtime and went there, now they're taking people out of patrol or out of the detective squad. The detective, why didn't you close this case? Because I had four details this month, Lieutenant. You did? That's a lot. Yeah. It fucks me up. Because I got a lot of typing and investigating and interviewing to do. But I can't do it when I'm standing there in fucking Times Square getting called a fucking asshole by some drunken fucking savage. All right? So that's what's going to happen. Slower response time, crimes are mess as it is, 
and guys don't give a fuck anymore. So you, it's just basically the Ferguson effect by way of the fucking quota president who was elected twice has made police work an impossible task. And they're making it fucking even harder for the basics to get done, let alone crime prevention. I'm talking just taking fucking paperwork so you can file an insurance fucking thing. The basics are not going to get fucking done now because there's not enough fucking guys. Guys are retiring in droves. They just cut, I heard they cut two of the four academy classes that were scheduled to go in the academy. I don't know what the time frame was. was, Let's just say it was two years. They used to do two classes a year a lot when I got hired in the 80s. And it was usually like a thousand a class, 750 to 1200 somewhere, you know, in that thousand range. So let's just say there's 2,000 guys retiring, but there's no academy class going in. That's minus 2,000 guys. (laughs) There's no half replacement even. So over that year, you got 2,000 out, attrition, retirees, but you over the past, you know, two classes, you just replaced 2,000 for 2,000. Not anymore. Now it's only going to be 1,000 if they stretch it over the two years. This is what I'm figuring on it. So they're not hiring guys. Nobody wants this fucking job anymore. It's not what it was when I was out there. It's not even what it was 10 years ago. I've been out a long time. And they're going to complain and they want to take away the immunity too. That's a topic for another day. Um, No one's going to take this job. So you assholes might get your fucking wish. It might be defund the fault. Defund the police by default. Because there's going to be no police to defund. And the fucking, it's going to be mayhem in the streets. And I will be long gone out of New York by the time that happens. Because I'm thinking about getting out of here a few years sooner than I was planning on anyway. Because I'm fucking done with this shit, old liberal. High tax, ridiculous fucking bag of shit state. 